Hope you are well and uh, you are welcome to this video of NanoCAD. So let's get started. In this video, we will uh, try to find how we can update the user shortcut command using CFG and uh, the PGP files of NanoCAD. So the CFG file is uh, something will allow you to update command shortcut in NanoCAD interface. And if you are going to use the PGP file that will uh, allow you to update command shortcut out of NanoCAD interface, right? So now see how we can update command shortcut using a CFG file in the beginning and then we will go to the PGP file. So uh, just, just go to manage and click on uh, interface that CFG. So once you click on interface, the customized user interface pop-up will appear, right? Now on the right hand side, right on the ribbon or you can go to menu bar so on the right hand side you have the different menu of nanocat you can choose either one of this so on my case i'll choose draw and now you have all the functions all the features those are listed in the draw menu of nanocat you can take uh, any of these uh, features for example you can say arc right? so if i click on arc so now if you go to this section the property section now you can see if you click on show so the alias says that in nanocat currently if you type a in the command bar the arc command will perform right the activity will start of the arc function so let's see if we go to command bar and press a hit enter and now it will allow you to draw arc right so now a is for arc the shortcut a will be used to run the function arc right so now let's go to manage again and click on interface and i'll go to draw again and i'll find arc so here's the arc and click on show so now in the alias section if you say something like not a you can say something AA for arc, right? Double A. Now say OK. And you need to restart, obviously, NanoCAD. So I'll say yes. And I will exit from NanoCAD. So now open NanoCAD. So now instead of using A as a shortcut of arc command, I will use AA, that's double A, to use the arc command in NanoCAD. Right, so I'll press AA, hit enter. So now AA is stand for arc, right? so it is working fine. So this is how you can actually update any of the command shortcut from uh, the CFG interface. So this is the CFG file basically located in this folder. Right? So you can find any of the menu and choose the targeted command and change the alias from the properties this section. 
so and restart nanocad that will allow you to use the user specific shortcut now we will try to update functions shortcut from pgp file so once you install nanocad on your system the pgp file should get stored automatically to c drive program data so view so hidden folders are open so click on user i guess yes click on user and the username and then go to app data roaming and you should find nanocat so there's nanocat and i'm using nanocat 10 i have different version installed of nanocat application so on this case i'm going to use nanocat 10 so now in the config file if you click on the config now you can see you have one dot pgp file pgp file is actually holds all the shortcuts right that will be used in nanocat right so just double click on the pgp file it will open using the notepad and now you can find all the command so all the commands are listed those are we are using in nanocad so take any of these commands for example if we find the same command called uh, we'll search for say arc so arc so now we can find arc so now you can see the as we update it in the cfg environment double a for arc so that has been reflected in the pgp file right so the moment we set in the cfg that reflected in the pgp file so now in this section if we say we need to use something a o for arc and so a o for arc so th this could be anything th this could be uh, anything based on the user choice so this is li little awkward though i used ao but this is just for my test so that you can understand that you can use any uh, of the user choice character to specify any nanocad command so i used ao and then i will save this file save and I will close it right. so now the next thing I need to restart nanocad obviously so I will restart nanocad we'll go again and open nanocad so open nanocad so now the shortcut AO should work for arc so as a user i can use ao to use the arc command in nanocad so i'll press ao and it should allow me to use arc command right if we press f2 now you can see it's telling us that ao stands for arc right so basically you can update any shortcut commands you just need to need to go to the roaming folder the user roaming folder of nanocad located in this path and uh, you should find the functions you can use control a to search any of the function in the notepad and once you find the function and you want to update you should not disturb this portion right equals to s dist dist this is the nanocad function basically so you should always update this portion the left hand side portion and then you should save and restart nanocad right so that will update the command shortcut so now i will uh, 
revert back my settings I should find arc here it is so I should click I should remove O from the PGP file and click save and this will revert back all the settings to the default now for the arc right obviously for the arc so now you can use either uh, the CFG in the NanoCAD interface or you can go out from the NanoCAD and update the PGP file uh, using the notepad and restart NanoCAD that will reflect the settings and you will be allowed to use the specific uh, shortcut use a specific shortcut in NanoCAD right? if you have any questions please um, comment we will uh, response to help right? so thank you very much for your time see you later